Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. So here I am. Um, I am dismantling the ship. Let me just say, if you hear any whirring in the background, uh, my down downstairs neighbours have decided to start drilling again. I don't think this microphone will pick it up, but in case you do, I apologise. So, um, yeah, I, I made a note of the name and I've forgotten to check it before I start recording. Excuse me a second. Right, I want to thank John VZ800 for telling me where the core of this crashed Titan um, is, or should I say was, which means I can now come along and dismantle it. So this is that raised bridge area that was up one of the elevators. And as you can see, I've taken down nearly all of it. Just got a few more layers to go. I've burned through about eight, eight magazines for my uh, multi-tool here. Now, I'm not... Um, I'm disassembling rather than dismantling. That way I get back the raw components. You can see in my inventory I've got uh, 630 steel plate and 200 hardened steel plate, which is good. The reason I'm doing that is that I want to use all this steel to make myself a small vessel, not a capital vessel. Therefore, these large blocks are going to be a lot less use to me. I also dismantled what I could see of the engines, and there were one or two um, RCS systems, reaction control systems. So I got back all the components for those, which means I should have now the more exotic components I need in order, in order to make an advanced constructor machine. Which is good, because I need an advanced constructor in order to make the more advanced stuff, like uh, larger fridges and larger energy generators, and presumably the stuff for the um, uh, spaceships. So give me a moment to work my way around this thing. Okay, that's um, this top level stripped off, or at least the start of it. I don't want to do too much deconstructing with the little multi-tool, because I think I can unlock a faster one that might actually work off the small vessel. Basically, a multi-tool cannon, which should deconstruct this thing a lot quicker. Right, so I'll show you where the core was, um, if there's anyone out there playing this game who knows less than me. I know, that's hard to believe. So this is um, the rear end of the Crash Titan, so in this room with these two columny things, if you... oh, I forgot to deconstruct you, a little bit of copper. If you go into this second one, that one leads up to the bridge. This one, if you looked up there, there was two panes of glass, and right there was was the um, thing, was the core. I just wanted to check if there was anything there, and there isn't. Yeah. Okay, so I've now got um, some more exotic materials and stuff, and I can come back here and take this thing out at a later date. Um, check my food. So I'm living now on baked pumpkin and space fries. <laughs> uh, space fries are quite good. They've got quite a long perish timer normally, although I am sort of carrying a bit too much food and it's going off on me. Perish time 26, perish time 4. Yeah, I want to finish those ones off. But I'm getting lots of nice crops. Where's the way out? This way. Make sure my jetpack's on. Right, how much fuel do we have left in here? 48 minutes. Um, another useful tip, 
and I forgot to write down who gave me this tip, so if I remember, I'll put it up on screen now. If I don't, I apologise. Maybe I'll add it to the description or something if you nudge me. Is that the planet's only 8 kilometres um, in, in width. The surface area, the circumference of the planet is only 8 kilometres. So if you see something that's over 4 kilometres away, see, yeah, that's my base to the east, over 4 kilometres away, it's actually quicker to go west. <laughs> um, I believe that is a bug they're going to try and work on. Ooh, some more stones there. I'm still grabbing these whenever I see them. I believe it is something, you know, that they're going to work on. I mean, they're working on changing how the planets generate already. Um, they're going to make them a lot bigger. Like up to 32 kilometers or something. Like 16... 32 times the, their current size. There's a copper deposit there. I have to watch out for that abandoned reactor. It's likely to be hostile and have gun turrets. That's why I need a decent, heavily armed vessel. So I can try and take on those things. Let me see if I can get up this slope without getting stuck. Just found a nice iron deposit. Any problem with going this way around the planet is it's a lot more rocky. Getting a few little frame rate stutters there. I don't think my computer's doing anything else. Obviously it's recording this. <laughs> yeah. It'll be so much better. Okay, I've got to be careful because you can come through there you might end up on top of something. And there's my base only one something kilometers away. Yeah, so I think they're fixing that. That's the comm center. That's definitely dangerous. I mean, if it sends out drones after me, I do have the mini cannon on this thing. Yep, yep, you can hear it shooting at me. Let's not stop for any reason. Now, one thing that, that will be good is... Once I've made the advanced constructor, I can make that repair bay. Which means I'll be able to park this thing on top of the repair bay and it'll get automatically repaired. I need to put some lights on the outside of my base, I think. Okay, now we're going to have to wait till daylight before I show you it properly. One thing I found is, I was off at the Crash Titan, and I got the report of drones are coming to attack your base, and I ignored it, because I had the two gun turrets out here that had always managed to easily deal with every single drone attack. But then when I came back, there was actually a drone... Where I didn't actually fully repair it. Yeah, here. There was a drone right here, just hammering away at my base. In fact, I think I've got a photograph of that. Here. Just smashed a load of windows, uh, damaged loads, and so on. Luckily, he didn't take out any of these primary supports, otherwise my entire base might have come tumbling down. And he didn't breach the greenhouse area, which meant my plants didn't die. So, very grateful for that. But one thing I've done is I've boosted my, uh, my defences. So, I left the one here because I have this walkway now that goes between my base and the solar array. I couldn't put a gun turret there like I did on all the other sides. So, I left that there. But all three other sides now have a gun turret right by the door entrance. And you can't see them from in here, but there are two gun turrets on the roof as well. So... Reducing the hover height. Now, I'm not going to park over that spot like I normally do because I actually want that to be a repair bay. Um, yeah, I might need to put some more lights in sort of on the outer areas a bit. So I've made that like um, an elevator symbol. How much energy does my base have? My base has plenty of fuel. What I've been doing is I've been taking rotting plants and turning them into biofuel 
you can then load the biofuel into these fuel tanks. But then what's good is even though you're loading in biofuel, you can withdraw it and you end up with Promethean fuel packs that you can then use to fuel your smaller vessels, which I think is very good. Yes, yeah, leave my lights on down here. Actually, no, I'm going to leave my lights off because I need the reminder to actually add some more lights to this place. Right, where's my cargo box? just want to grab the little bits and pieces. Uh, I've been color coding all this stuff and adding the symbols so I know what direction I, um, I need to go in. Okay, so I've got two constructors here. This one was a block constructor. And this one was the advanced constructor. What I need to do is empty one because the advanced constructor, which I can now build, you see, one of the things it needs is a large constructor. So I may as well... Do I bother recycling one of these? Do I want two normal constructors for some reason? That might actually be good because one of them could, say, be working on... See, this one has been working on biofuel, which actually takes quite a while. So it might actually just be worth adding a third one. So this one could become a biofuel. That one's for blocks. Blocks and smelting, I think I'll make that one. So here we will... Let's add the hardened steel plate and the other steel plate over here and the iron ingots. Okay, so I want you to give me an advanced constructor. I mean, yes, it means I'm building um, a large constructor, but that's not too bad in terms of components. And having a third one will, will be useful. Alright, while well, that's constructing, we can go to our panel. And we can add our biofuel to our base. Which means I've got 17 hours worth of um, power. Nothing in the solar batteries. Um, it's been a bit a bit cloudy recently, so when so we haven't been doing as well on that. Got to the sunroom. You can see that our crops are expanding nicely. I've put them all in now. Um, we've still got space for five more types of crops. And we still need some more Acua Berry saplings. Oh, I've just reached level 18 from doing this little harvest. That's good. And the other thing to check is, yeah, I want at least one spare sprout of each crop that I'm growing. So I've already got the alien honey plant and the fiber. So I needed um, three Acua Berry ones. Okay, and that's it. Okay. There's only three things planted in um, in that area, currently. Now, when I I've put uh, when I put all the glass in everywhere, I realised that I needed to redesign some of my rooms slightly. Otherwise, the wall would come across halfway across these double windows, and it sort of looked a bit weird. So there's been a slight redesign of the rooms. Essentially, we have a little more room this way. We've got like a little alcove cubby, which could do with its own light. Um, I put some plants and decorations around. And the bedroom got a little bit larger as well, because again, I pushed the wall out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need some water. Okay, so... Throwing all the stuff we just harvested into here. Pulling out any spoiled food. Oh, 
Although we might want some of the spoil, spoiled fish to still be in there because we need it for the nutrient solutions. So we wanted three acure berries to plant and one to stick safe in a chest. And I think we'll make some space fries to keep us going. Now, I think our fridge has some of everything in it. Once we've got um, an advanced constructor, we can make a larger fridge, which will be able to hold more. There we go, there's our Cuba Berry Sprouts. And you have our advanced constructor. Excellent. So, um, rotation wise. Okay, it's actually a different model to those things. Right, I'm going to sort of line up with that one, but be two that way. That works, I can still get behind it. Ah, that looks like the front panel. That's better. Okay, so now we, if this is going to be our biofuel one, then we need to empty it of everything else. Right? Yes. Now, I left the biofuel um, in the food processor. So we can grab that, put it in here. Why go there? Why not go there? Uh, spoiled food needs two for each one. So we can make almost 50. There we go. So that's that's going to be your job. You are biofuel processor. Now I might want to move this downstairs to you know to actually in the fuel room, but I kind of like the idea of um, of all my constructors being uh, being up here you know even if they have sort of set jobs and so on. All right, so there's some large window blocks. That's nice. So, small vessel, building blocks. So steel blocks are two steel plates, so we've got enough for <laughs> over 500. And if we wanted hardened ones, it just adds a hardened steel plate. Now, rather than constructing hardened steel um, blocks, what I plan to do because the multi-tool has this option to upgrade, used for upgrading devices and building blocks. So I think I can just build it out of normal blocks, and then using the upgrade tool, I'll go over the outside of my small vessel and turn it all into hardened blocks using these hardened steel, steel plates. Um, armored window blocks. Okay, normal window blocks are one steel plate, one glass plate. So to make armoured window blocks, it would take a little bit more glass and three of the hardened steel plates. Hmm. Right, but for now, we're going to want normal steel blocks. Let's queue up 200 of them. And 50 windows. We can just leave that running. You now have all my normal stuff. Or at least you do now. So, now we have this constructor, we can find that repair bay, can't we? Repair bay. 
Except it needs a Zuscosium alloy, which I don't have. Hmm. Uh, there's a slight bug that seems to mean you can't ever leave that thing. Okay. Um, Zuscosium alloy. Let's have a look at the... I want in... I want info for the moon. I got that somehow, didn't I? Akua moon. There is no Siscosium alloy on the moon either. And I don't get info about places that aren't in my system. Okay, so we can't make the repair bay yet unless we raid some places. So let's concentrate on making ourselves our small vessel. Because then we can use it to attack some of those enemy bases and raid them for loot. Okay. Um, I am level 18. I have 578 unlocks. Small vessel. I can get everything except for level 20. Right, well, we're going to need our CS and thrusters. We already have these spotlights. Now I want this thing to be large enough for me to get in so I can have equipment in it. The reason being is I'm going to use this thing to go to the moon and mine there. And that means this sort of is going to have to be a little a little tiny mini moving base for me. So we are going to want a fridge there so we can have more food on board. The mobile constructor um, limited number of templates available, slow crafting speed, but better than nothing. I don't think I need a short-range warp drive on it. Limited to 15 AU. Actually, that could get me to all of the nearby systems. And I could discover whether or not they have any materials I want. Interesting. Small vessel. Um, leave it for now. Make it last. Uh, last thing. Right, we're going to definitely need an O2 an station because we're going to be going into space and stuff. Armor locker is useful because it means I can swap out the components in my armor. So I can uh, use it to adapt to different environments. It already has the Gatling gun. Ooh, the rail gun looks nice. Next, takes the Cosium alloy though, so I'm not going to be able to make it. Um, I might be able to make a, the rocket launcher. So let's grab that. Homing rocket launchers. Hmm. Right, cockpit blocks. Yes. Passenger seats. Well, a single player game, so I don't really need those. Uh, we already have the shutter doors. No, we don't. So manual door blocks. Don't need ramps. We do need landing gear. And we need a ventilator because I would like the inside of the ship to have an atmosphere. I don't know whether I can construct those, but I'm going to unlock them. Alright, let's keep going up the thrust tree then. So we can have a nice, fast, maneuverable ship. Uh, these things are so cheap, I'm just going to fully unlock this tree. While we're spending, is there anything for the base I want? Uh, larger fuel tanks. Fuel capacity is 6,000. It's twice the capacity of that. We want the large generator. We've got the tier 2 fridge. We want rocket turrets. I believe these uh, these things also get used on um, on the capital vessel, so it's not a waste to do it now. But I'm going to save those last few points 
Well, let's have a look at miscellaneous. Uh, larger fuel packs? No. Large ammo box? Not really needed. Auto mining devices? Interesting. Used when mining or when, when placed on a resource deposit. Crafted device, its main component, the core, can be found in the starting equipment. Appar apparently they're really slow, and it's usually just easier to go there with a hover vessel with its own um, mining drills. So, tools, portable work lights. Okay, level 2 multi-tool means it's faster and more efficient. So, definitely want that. And weapons. If we're going to be going raiding, then weapons might be good. Alright, so that's lots of stuff unlocked there. Okay, I need a repair station, because I think that's what can repair my armour and my tools. You can see here that my um, drill is worn down quite a bit, so let's get a repair station. want a tier 2 fridge. Now, I could put the repair station up in the living area, but it's quite large and ugly, so I think it's probably better off down here. I'll put it there, so it's sort of halfway between my inventory and my construction area. So, if I take off my armour... This is possibly a reason why having it in the living quarters would be a good idea, because I think I can't take off my armour unless I use the armour locker. Yeah, that's that's an issue. I could move the armour locker downstairs. I don't want that repair thing in here, it's huge. There we go, so that's fully repaired. Could do the same to my drill. Oops, did not mean to do that. I could have another armor locker down down here or just move the armor locker down here. When can I get heavier armor? You can't ever construct heavier armor. That's interesting. Okay, now I realize this episode is running long, so I'm going to put the fridge upstairs. Then we need somewhere to construct our small vessel. It's not going to fit into the garage we have downstairs. This could just go next to the big fridge. Perfect. Yeah, so... I've got a few thoughts on this. One of my thoughts was, I've got this area here, which isn't really doing anything. Um, I could construct a landing platform at this level, but that seems a little too high. So maybe here. I think off this level here, I could construct a platform that's as high as that, comes out quite a way, sinks down pylons, and it's just for landing my small vessel on. That would give me room to build quite a large small vessel. I'd have easy access from it from inside the base. It wouldn't interfere with this at all. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to construct that in between episodes. and. If anyone has any suggestions as to what sort of style or design my small uh, small vessel could be, maybe something from some some sci-fi franchise that I could try and, try and copy. I mean, my initial thought is to try and build a Cobra Mark III, because I'm a fan of Elite. But there might be other stuff that would be pretty cool as well. So, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.